The kingdom belongs to Allah. He gives whoever he wants and he refrains to whoever he wants. Some he blesses with houses, some he blesses with cars, some he blesses with children, and some he blesses with one house, some with many houses. My main subject today is the hasad which hits a house. There's so many houses which has been hit by hasad. Recently I visited one house and the whole family are suffering from the hasad. The Quran has vividly advised us and talked about this notion of hasad. Allah has narrated in so many places. Example is Surah Al-Imran. Allah says, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Wa in tusibu kum sayyatun yafrahu biha. When the calamity befalls on you, they rejoice it. And Allah has again mentioned in Surah Al-Falaq, Wa min sharri nafathati fil uqad, wa min sharri hasidin idha hasad. From the evil envier who envies. Now, envy and hasad, Allah has narrated. I can go on and mention ayahs after ayahs. But these two ayahs should be sufficient for this subject. A house, when it's been hit by hasad, it brings problem. Because why? Because an envy person, a person full of jealousy, envy the house. Why do they have the house? Oh, the house is so beautiful. And the family start having problems in their own house. And they haven't got a clue how to solve it. Their money and everything was poured in that house just for them to have a peaceful place. But now what happened? Somebody envied and problem. There's so many houses out there which is, has these problem, problem of hasad. The one who neglect the notion of hasad, he will become a catalyst. The one who neglects following the Quran and the Sunnah will become a catalyst of his own downfall. Because I've seen a lot of people who, because of neglecting the Quran and Sunnah, they become catalysts of their own downfall. Sheikh al-Islam says, majority of the people who are inflicted with spiritual disease is because they're ignorant of Islam. Recently, I've visited a garage she changing tires, and the brother was Afghani brother. We were exchanging words, and we came to a topic where talking about hasad and zahir. He said, brother, I don't believe this. And I just looked at him and smiled. He said, you don't know what you're talking about. Allah has narrated and vividly explained these notions. Now you don't believe. This is the level of the people. And now this person when he get hit, then you start believing. I have come across somebody who says that I will not get possessed. Wallahi thumma wallahi. Allah has tested that person after a few months. The person is possessed. You do not take lightly this notion, this matter. This matter is to be taken seriously. One needs to be praying and seeking protection and study about it. And do not worry about it. Protect yourself. Hasad in the house, it brings problem after problem after problem. One of the main problems it brings is the income goes down. Now, if you have these symptoms in your house, know that your house has been hit by hazard. Drowsiness in the house, whenever the whole members of the family come in the house, they're all feeling sleepy. They're tired. They cannot do anything. Enormousity between each other. You'll see the one member of family sitting there, one sitting there, one sitting there. For absolutely no reason. Insomnia in the house, lack of sleep, the whole members of the family, even though they feel drowsy. But when the night approach, insomnia. The wealth going down, the house becoming old, the bricks, a certain smell where you ca they cannot find, they cannot trace where the smell is coming from. Lights breaking down, plates, stove breaking down for absolutely no reason. They just break down. The children, the family members, when they come in the house, 
their mind is occupied they can't cope in the house they can't study they can't do anything their wealth is disappearing slowly by slowly they don't know what is the problem this is to do with the hasad it only happens in the house when they go out they are happy and lively but when they come back in the house problem the whole members of the family how to move forward salah five times if they no one is praying everybody needs to pray five times azkar morning evening everybody needs to do that and get zamzam water or rose water or rain water if you can't get these three then get just normal water put salt inside three spoons five spoons seven spoons the more the better and read surah al-baqarah kamil and read surah al-falaq in it kamil and in surah al-baqarah there is a verse talks about hasad there is a verse it says what the kathiru min ahli al-kitab law yurudunakum ba read that verse about 3 4 5 times and also there's another verse says ma yawaddu alladhina kafaru min ahli al-kitab wal mushrikin an yunazzal alaykum min khayr read the verse as well seven seven times with the surah al-falaq together in the water and sprinkle your whole house in and out for at least minimum of three days or more the more you do the more better and do not sprinkle the toilet but make sure you sprinkle everywhere in the house absolutely everywhere make sure the whole members of the family are together when you are doing this action or you can do it alone there is absolutely no problem 